اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ We are now entering into the 12th month of the lunar calendar, the calendar which the Muslims follow. And this month which we are now embarking upon is known as Dhul Hijjah. And this is the month in which Muslims from around the world will embark on the Hajj pilgrimage to the city of Mecca and the surrounding areas and then ultimately to complete the Hajj by visiting the grave of the Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him and his family, and the noble family and the respectable companions of the Prophet and his noble immaculate descendants. And so over the next few weeks, over the course of these next four discussions, we wanted to reflect on some of the traditions, on the statements about the importance of the Hajj and about some of the aspects in relation to the Hajj as prescribed and as mentioned to us by the 14 infallibles. Today, however, let us begin our discussion by looking at a very brief tradition that comes to us from the sixth Imam, Imam Jafar ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq, may God's peace and blessings be upon him in which he elaborates on two types of Hajj, on two reasons rather why people would make the pilgrimage. And in this beautiful tradition, the sixth Imam says the following, Hajj is of two types, Hajj for the sake of Allah and Hajj for the sake of people. A person who performs Hajj for Allah, surely his reward will be with Allah, which is paradise. And a person who performs Hajj for people, Surely his reward will be with the people to give him on the day of resurrection. The sixth Imam shows us that people do acts of worship, more specifically in this instance the Hajj, for a multitude of reasons, but he breaks it down and, and summarizes it into two distinct reasons. There are those who will take the time, the money, the efforts, the struggles to perform the Hajj solely for the sake of Allah. Their entire goal is to uh, seek the pleasure of Allah, to fulfill their obligation to Allah, to ensure that they have lived by the commandments of the Qur'an and the prophetic teachings. And as the sixth Imam says, when a person makes and embarks on the journey of the Hajj for the sake of Allah, then indeed Allah will be the one who will reward that individual, male or female. And their reward is nothing other than paradise. It is the pleasure of Allah, it is the gardens which God has promised to the believers within the Quran time and time again. However, the sixth Imam shows us that people sometimes perform acts of worship, and again in this case the Hajj, for other than the sake of Allah, for the people. Perhaps for them to be known in the community as a Haji, as one who has performed the Hajj, that people may uh, you know, look up to them for some reason because they have performed the Hajj. They are going for ulterior motives, not for the sake of Allah, not to fulfill their obligation, not to get uh, spiritual proximity to Allah and to the Messenger and to the family of the Prophet, but rather they're doing it for the masses, for the people in their community, for their friends, for them to be able to brag and to show off that they have made the pilgrimage, maybe once or maybe a multitude of times. The sixth Imam clearly shows us that such an individual who performs the Hajj not for the sake of Allah but for others, that their reward will not be with Allah because obviously their actions were not for Allah. And the Imam shows us that such an individual, his reward will be with those people whom he performed the Hajj for on the day of resurrection. And so whereas the multitudes of people will be running towards God and His mercy and His forgiveness and the blessings of paradise, and God will satiate them and God will give them what they asked for as long as they fulfilled their obligations. These individuals who perform the Hajj for other than Allah, when they run around looking to the people for the reward, the people will obviously come to them empty-handed and say that we are utterly poorless, we are utterly in, in you know, a state of need and we are ourselves going to Allah for assistance and for support and for the blessings and benefactions. And so as we close, if we have been blessed this year to perform the Hajj, let us ensure that our intention every step of the way is to seek Allah, to seek His good pleasure, to fulfill our obligation, our commitment to Allah. And if we have the slightest um, trouble or we have the slightest uh, change or problem in our intention, that our intention is not for the sake of Allah, let us do our best to correct our intention before it is too late and to ensure that our hajj and our prayers, everything that we do is solely for the sake of Allah and no one else except for Him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.